I'm going to have a sip of tea while I talk about books. Hello YouTube friends! So I've been gone for an awfully long time and I'm really sorry about that. Um, the last few months have been really, really stressful, but it's a new year with a new desk and a new phone, which means a new video camera sort of thing, and a new motivation to actually put videos on this channel rather than to just keep scrolling through my feed and going, videos! Anyway, so, um, part of the reason I want to make videos is I really hate how I look on camera, and I really, really hate how I come across in recordings, so this is part of me just dealing with that. As somebody who wants to become an actor, I should probably become comfortable with myself on camera, you know, and in recordings, because otherwise it's just what actor am I ever going to be? So with that said, I am going to force myself to make at least one video a month. And if my schedule's not like totally impacted, then I'll make more, but who knows? Let's see where this goes. So today I wanna to talk about books because books are wonderful and glorious and I love them. And I've read a book a day since the new year started. So, that's about 10% of my Goodreads goal. So if you want to follow me on Goodreads, I will leave links in the description down below to Goodreads and all of my other social media sites because y'all know you want to follow me on these because I'm just as annoying there as I am here. Part of the reason why I've read so many books so far this year has been because I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm doing something else. So I could be cleaning my house, not well, but I could be cleaning my house while listening to a book or I could be knitting because I love knitting, especially like this, this hat here. I love knitting while I'm listening to my audiobooks. It's really relaxing for me and I don't have a television. So it's a great way to absorb stories while doing something with my hands. But that's one of the reasons why I've read so many books so far. I personally use Audible. They are not sponsoring me. I promise. I personally use Audible because they're the best. But they have a free app on the phone and the phone, the, the app itself is pretty okay to work. Like on the iPhone, they don't allow in-app purchases, which is kind of eh. But... It's a, it's a good playing app, definitely. Um, one of the books that I've read has been the Matched series. I know it's more than one book, but still. One of the books that I've read has been the Matched series, and it was the greatest regret of what anything I've purchased. I really hate that series. It's the, the main character is supposed to be the smart, one of the smartest people in the society. That's, that's what they're... Their government is called the society. I think that's so stupid. But no one asked me when they were writing this book. So Matched is this this dystopian-esque future. And it's the really sad thing is I really wanted to like it. Because there are so many aspects to it that are so good. Like there are so many elements that are taken from other stories. Like... If I had to sum this up, it'd be The Giver plus like 1984 plus like just about every other dystopian future-esque thing with a love triangle and pour a gallon of meh on top of it. And that's basically match, crossed, and reached. They're, they're just... They're just really boring. The main character is dull and the boys are more interesting but only barely. It's really sad. And I think part of the reason why I think it's so terrible is because it's it's bad but it makes me it, it's asking me to take it seriously 
Because, like, I love bad books. If somebody picks up waistcoats and weaponry, they're going to be like, this is not good. We're, we're going to an alt history with a finishing school in an air balloon with vampires and werewolves. And you like this? Yes, because it's just like, let's go gallivanting off on an adventure and have some fun. We're not supposed to think too hard about the society itself. It's it's just this is this is fun. And part of the problem with matched is it's this really it wants me to take it seriously and it wants me to be so me. The match series meh. But I am dying until Manners and Mutiny comes out in November. Oh my god. So good. Like I, I cliffhanger and I want to know what happens to the vampire and I want to know if the girl and the the werewolf get together and I want to know if she gets together with the the duke's son or with the sooty like it's just and all the girls in there are all kick ass and so yeah that's that's me on that book because it's a wonderful series and I enjoy it it's not it's not meant to make you think though it's if you want something serious go find Dostoevsky or something but this is fun I'm going to stop now because I think that's enough of me yammering on about books and I want you to let me know what you think, what, what books you're planning on reading this year and what you think I should talk about next time if I should talk about more books because Lord knows I'm going to read more books. Um, but I can't wait to see you guys. Uh, until next time.